Hi, welcome to this Business of Apps tutorial about how to create great App Store screenshots. What we're going to be covering in this tutorial is we're going to be introducing you to the purpose of App Store screenshots, we're going to provide advice on how to go about designing them, and we're going to use examples to further your understanding on how you can go about making your best App Store screenshots possible. My name is George Osborne. I'm the Chief Content Officer at the Business of Apps. I've worked as Head of, head of Editorial Content for MagicSolver.com for two years, launching dozens of apps on a global stage. And I've also worked as the events editor of the Pocket Game of Beers and run my own blog at mobilemavericks.eu. And essentially what we're going to be doing in this little tutorial is just running you through the best ways to create those top quality screenshots to help you sell your app as well as you can as possible in the store. Now, when you think about the App Store landing page, when you look at it, this is what people will see on the iPad. So this is the screen in which people have the largest amount of real estate. And what you're gonna see here is that you're gonna see that the app icon, the screenshots, the description, and potentially video, which is coming soon, are gonna be the things that really dominate in people's eyes. But in particular, screenshots are probably the thing that stand out the most here. And the reason why they do is not just in terms of the size, it's in terms of how they look. I mean, to a user who's using a mobile device, they're not gonna to be too fussed about reading lengthy descriptions, and they're not gonna necessarily know an app from its icon alone. So the screenshots are kind of the opportunity to show off what your app's all about and let people know exactly why they should be downloading it. And I think there's three major tips for designing great screenshots that I think that you should follow when you go about making them. The first one is that you should always put your best foot forward. If these screenshots really are the most important app store asset out there and they're the ones that really show off the strength of your app, then you've got to make sure that your first screenshot is a really great effort to make sure that people want to actually go and download your app. The second thing you need to do is use them to highlight your strengths. So you need to show off your strongest features in your screenshots to make that really effective pitch to your users. So whether that's showing your app in action in a really interesting dynamic way or potentially just really showing off the best bits of your app and why it looks so great, it's an important place for you to show off exactly what's good about your app to help get those users in. And the last thing you really need to think about doing is building a narrative. If you can imagine that screenshots basically act as a little flip book for your app, you can think that these five screenshots are the way to build a really quick, coherent narrative that explains to your users exactly why they should go and download your app and exactly why they should be getting hold of it. And I think it's one of those little things that if you can put your best foot forward, highlight your strengths and build yourself this great little narrative, then what you can quite easily do is build yourself a great platform for your screenshots to succeed. Now in terms of putting your best foot forward, what you've got to think about screenshots again is that they're the dominant visual conversion asset for each search result. So we saw earlier the iPad page, and on the right hand side, this is what you see on the iPhone. So as you can see in comparison to the iPad page where you could see a number of screenshots for a particular app, when you search for an app basically on the iPhone, what, the only thing that really draws your eye in is that screenshot. You can't see the description. Yes, you can see review scores and you can see the other icon, but you can't even necessarily see the whole length of the app name. So it's one of those things that this screenshot is a really important way of basically getting people to come in and look at your app. So obviously each of the potential five screenshots need to be as good as possible. But that first screenshot in particular, because it has that important role within search, it really needs to capture attention and sell the benefits of the app. And in this case, Duolingo, I think, do it fantastically. In case you haven't gotten hold of Duolingo, it's a, it's a language learning app. And I think what they do really well is that there's a few little things in here. So one of the small things is that at the bottom, you see those little circles, which most people along with the little slide button that's in the middle of the page, will understand that it means there's more to read. So it's one of those things that that little screenshot, even though it's based on their tutorial, it's gonna be a really quick and easy visual way for people to want to basically scroll through. But in particular, that tagline, learn a language for free forever. It's very strong, it's very interesting, and it's something that as a pitch, I think will draw users in. And I think you've got to be thinking about that, is that first screenshot, it's when people are coming past it on search, look at your first screenshot and say to yourself, does that draw people in? If it doesn't, you've got to think about changing it. And if it does, you're well on the way towards your app store success. But beyond that, you need to think about how you can show off your strengths. So in particular, top tips. So in some ways, it could just be a, a good way to list your main app features to just go and find your strengths. So it's more than possible that you will have a number of things that other competitors have, but if you can find 
maybe five or six or seven compelling little features that you can pull together, you can use that as the basis for building your screenshots. And what you've got to try and do is work out a way to visually communicate them first and foremost, because if you can visually communicate your strength using your screenshot, then it's a really easy way for people to actually get hold of what your app's all about. And in particular, Bump does this really well. You know, you can see here that essentially this app, which is now unfortunately defunct, it's a great example of how screenshots can work. So the app was about transferring data by simply bumping your phones together and taking hold of basically wireless connectivity to quickly transfer contact details. And they use their first two screenshots to basically tell that tale. So bump makes connect simple, just bump. And that's it. And you can see across the two screenshots the physical action. And they've added the little lines as well to basically so that when you think about it side by side, you get this wonderful little image that really shows you exactly how the app works. So when you're looking to design your screenshots, you've got to be thinking about the way that you can visually communicate your strengths. But at the same time, it's not always possible to do that. Or it might be the case that you have more features than you can possibly just simply communicate by doing this. So, you know, it's all well and good that Bump did this for two screenshots, but what about the other three? Well, in terms of solving this problem, I think they also take a route that I think is going to be important for the next point, which is adding text at the top of the page. So by adding bump makes connecting simple, just bump, they help to build what's probably the most important element of building a good screenshot, which is just a little informative narrative. And the reason why it's important is that people will come to your app and they will see your screenshots, but there's no chance that they will necessarily actually do anything other than look at perhaps those screenshots and your icon. So when you're thinking about it, what you need to be really looking at is you need to be thinking to yourself, well, if we're creating this, if we're creating this, these screenshots, then perhaps a smart little narrative is what's gonna be a really great way of basically helping people to decide to download the app. And so in this case, what SwiftKey Note have done is that if you look at their five screenshots, but in this case, we're gonna look at three, They've decided what their key features are, so smarter autocorrects, a keyboard that learns and that magically predicts the, the next word. And they've just drawn that together into three quick little sentences. And by doing those three little sentences at the top of the screenshot, it then gives them room to design the image below. So, I mean, I, I think an interesting text of, test of this, a test of whether they've done a good narrative or not, is whether if you don't look at the text and you look simply at the image, whether you would get what happens without it. And I think it's quite clear, particularly if you look at that middle screenshot, that without the addition of that little narrative element, you're not necessarily going to understand what's going on in the screenshot below. It, it gives you a, a clue, but that little hint of narrative can help increase the understanding of what's going on in your app and help it to succeed. So I think creating this little informative narrative that really works alongside demonstrating your visual strengths is a great way of showing off your app. And that's really all for now. That's all for our little bits of advice about creating screenshots. You can catch up with us by getting in touch either at hello at businessofapps.com or follow us on Twitter at Business of Apps. And you can also just find us at businessofapps.com and check out our courses, sign up to our webinars or get yourself on our mailing list. That's it. And uh, thank you very much for joining us.